planet is moving round a star about 21 light years from the Earth and it's much larger than our biggest planet, Jupiter. In our stellar system, the planets circle the Sun. Experts have long believed that there must be other systems like it in the universe, but they could never pinpoint in individual planets. Like Jupiter, the new planet is made up of dense, swirling gas clouds, and scientists say the temperatures near the top of the gas is probably about 1,000 degrees centigrade, but the new planet is probably between 30 and 80 times bigger than Jupiter. 160 ships which have been trapped in a waterway in Canada for the past two and a half weeks are on the move again. The ships got stuck when a drawbridge on the St. Lawrence Seaway jammed halfway open and couldn't be budged to let them through. Workmen have now managed to fix the bridge and the ships are hurrying to complete their journeys before the winter freeze sets in. John Fitzgibbons reports. For two and a half weeks, engineers and steel workers worked round the clock while shipping companies lost millions. Yesterday, the broken pulley shaft that caused all the problems was replaced, and late last night, as about 50 people in hard hats stood by with fingers crossed, the bridge was finally lifted. An hour after the bridge was up, traffic started to move again, and the race against the clock of winter began. Seaway officials have to try to get more than 150 ships out of the waterway before the freeze over. Scientists in Russia have uncovered a nest of unbroken eggs which were laid by dinosaurs more than 100 million years ago. The nest was found in layers of rock which one scientist described as stuffed with dinosaur eggs, some broken and some undamaged. In several places there were up to a thousand fragments of shell per cubic meter. The eggs were laid on the slopes of the Fagana Mountains in Soviet Central Asia. The area is thought to have been one of the largest breeding grounds for the massive creatures. Scientists also found bones from one of the huge flying lizards of the era. They looked something like this and had a wingspan of about eight meters. And finally tonight, a hospital in Boston in America has just finished examining a rather unusual patient. She's a 3,000-year-old mummy who's usually kept in a Boston museum. She was taken to the city's Brigham and Woman's Hospital for a special kind of examination called a CAT scan. From that, doctors discovered that she was between 30 and 60 years old when she died. Steve Young reports. It was a belated medical examination. An Egyptian woman brought to Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital for a CAT scan 2,700 years after she died. Nesmut Aat Nehru, from the collection of the Boston Museum of Fine Arts, was the daughter of a priest. She was found in 1894 beneath the temple of Hatshepsut on the west bank of the Nile. The CAT scan stripped away the centuries and disclosed she was tiny, had a curved spine, bad teeth, strong legs. Well, the ancient Egyptians believed that perpetuating the memory of someone would actually help perpetuate their existence in the afterlife. And we're certainly keeping alive the memory of these people by doing what we're doing. And I think she would be very happy with what we're doing. But it's almost like time travel in a way. This gives us a sense of the antiquity of the world and of how life does carry on. Nesmut Aad Nehru was a housewife and she is immortal. And that's all from Newsround for tonight. I'll be back again round about 10 to 5 tomorrow night. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>
Well now, on BBC One, the USS Enterprise challenges the alternative factor in Star Trek. Space.